For a flashier larvae, try the princess. I am tying this today on a size 20 hook, but common sizes can range from 14 to 24. We will want to start an 8 aught size thread in either red, pink, or in this case, orange, close to the eye of the hook with smooth wraps and trim off the excess. Now we want to wrap all the way back to the bend of the hook, continuing to make smooth wraps. If your thread starts to twist and not lie flat, twist the bobbin in the counter rotation to unravel the thread. This will help make it sit flat on the fly and make it easier to wrap this thin. Now we will want to take a piece of pearl flashaboo and attach it close to the bend of the hook. The size of flashaboo will depend on the size of your hook. In this case, I am using 1 100th size. Now wrap your thread all the way back to about an eye length from the eye of the hook. It will help your next step to do a half hitch here and move your bobbin to a bobbin holder. Now wrap your flashaboo up the hook shank all the way to the half hitch. Then pull your bobbin off the holder and capture the flashaboo. Unlike many other midges, building bulk in the head is not that bad. So I like securing my flashaboo with multiple wraps to really make sure it's in place. Trim off the tag end of the flashaboo and wrap your thread back a few wraps. Now we are going to add some red strip tinsel type dubbing to our thread. In this case, I am using a product called Super Flash Dubbing. Once you tightly dub the thread, make a dubbing ball and end your thread right behind the eye of the hook. Now whip finish the fly and cut off the thread. If your dubbing is sticking out a bit, you can trim the tag ends carefully. And there we have it, the princess fly. Despite its name, the princess is a tough fly. It's very flashy and catches many fish that are looking for larvae. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now, go catch some fish.